Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. A mail carrier suffered serious injuries after being attacked by two dogs in Macomb County. It happened right around 1230 on Friday on Clamar near the Quinder in Washington Township. Here's what we know. Macomb County Animal Control says the mail carrier was in her truck and she was bit multiple times. She suffered wounds to at least one arm and both legs. The dogs, a golden retriever and a Labrador retriever are now quarantined at animal control. Well, memorials begin this weekend for Judge Damon Keith. The civil rights icon died on April 28th at the age of 96. A public visitation will be held at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History on Saturday from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. A homegoing celebration will take place Monday at the Hartford Memorial Baptist Church. The service will begin at 10 a.m. Judge Keith will be buried at Roseland Park Cemetery in Berkeley after the service. You can watch the service live and see more tributes to Judge Keith at WXYZ.com, but he will certainly be missed. He touched so many lives. Well, here's a uh, seven first alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Hallie. All right, a clearing sky, light winds overnight, Carolyn, mean that we could see some frost. So there are frost advisories in the suburbs, not including Wayne, Lenaway, Monroe County, but everybody else with temperatures in the 30s and then around 40 in the city. And we're going to see those temperatures again as we go through the day tomorrow, only in the 50s. It's going to be another cool one, partly sunny, but the good news is at least we will stay dry for your Saturday. Sunday, Mother's Day, a chance for rain increasing after 2 p.m. into the evening hours, a little bit cooler with that rain and cooler yet on Monday. Good chance for showers. We are back in the 60s by Tuesday. All right, thank you so much, Hallie. And we do want to remind drivers I-75 between I-696 and Square Lake Road will be closing this weekend. Both directions of the freeway will be shutting down starting at 10 o'clock Friday night. MDOT crews will be demolishing two overpasses. I-75 is expected to reopen in time for the Monday morning commute. We do have a list of detours right now at WXYZ.com. Well, those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and a whole lot more on our website at WXYZ.com and, of course, on our 7 app. Have a great night.